Thanks for your company. The Aviation Ministry says Africa World Airlines. The airline reported to have denied a disabled woman access to board their Kumasi-bound aircraft did nothing wrong. Rita Kriba last month was uh, refused entry into the aircraft because the staff on board said her working aid would not be allowed on the flight. This generated a huge public uproar with Gender Minister Utiku Afisa Java condemning the act and demanding an apology and compensation from the airline. But the aviation ministry says the airline only adhered to safety protocols. Kwabna Daku Mensa is deputy aviation minister. There's, there's, uh, from the information we've gathered, um, apart from the communication bit that was not communicated to the lady, um, there's always um, the possibility of this happening, especially when we are using smaller aircraft. And therefore, in our own airline, there are procedures that are supposed to be taken. For instance, if the airlines are smaller and the, uh, the door is small, usually people who are disabled are not usually encouraged to get in because in case of emergency, it will be difficult to bring the person down. But in bigger aircraft, and they usually have these lifts that can easily lift them, put them in and bring them out. For the Africa World um, equipment, which is uh, E145, it carries only about 45 people, and the door is very small. Even the emergency doors are even windows. So naturally, um, for safety, it is always appropriate that if they felt that the person cannot be put on board, um, the person should understand us. Unfortunately, the communication was not done properly, and I believe that that is where the difficulty came. But apart from that, for safety reasons, the decision that was taken, we believe that was the right one. And um, we, are, we are just saying sorry that maybe the communication was not done properly, but that's where the problem is coming from. So any, any reprieve for this particular lady? We understand she is proceeding to court because then she says no, no. she didn't have any idea. That's what I'm saying, that it's communication. Okay. It's, it's not about she being denied boarding. It's about the communication. Because if they put her on board and there was an emergency, all the other 50 passengers on that plane would have been jeopardy. Okay. And as far as you can identify a hazard, you mitigate it. And one way of mitigating it was to make sure that she didn't get on board. Yes. So she, she was not treated differently from other people. It was only for purely safety reasons. And I believe that wherever that lady might take it to, this is the same message that we should be given. So she has lost her, 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 her tra travel fees and everything? No, no, no. She has not lost that. That one is always refunded to them. If you are not allowed boarding, your, your fees are always refunded to you. Yes.